Hey guys, welcome to my channel and Eve NG free course. In today's lesson, we're gonna upload IOU and IOL images to Eve NG. If you recall in the previous video, we imported the images which were Dynamips and Chemofy. In this video, we wanna upload or uh, import IOL images to Eve NG. IOL images have the .bin extension. If you recall, and according to the help documentation from uh, EVENG website, we should copy them in this path, which is opt slash unit lab add-ons slash IOL slash bin. So we'll use a bin SCP software to upload IOL or IOU file to the desired path. So we'll select one of these images and copy it and we'll paste it here, which is the desired path, as I said before. So we have the documentation in EVNG website. And so I'll prepare the documentation file. You can download it from the description. So to run IOL images, you must enable the IOURC license. It is the documentation to active the IOL or IOU license. If you want to run IOL images in EVNG without an activation file, the node will not be run perfectly. So if you run the IOL without the activation file, which we're gonna make it in today's lesson, the node will not run perfectly and is going to be shutting down after you run it. So let's test it together if we can run the IOL images without a license file, if it works perfectly or not without license key. So we'll select Cisco IOU in the software and we'll run it. And we'll see that it will give us an error related to the license file. Well, we're going to change the license file and then check whether again this node can be run or not. So first, we have to log into our EVNG and to execute commands here. We need uh, to install a nano editor, which will install it with this command. So I already had it installed in my previous lesson. So now we need to go to opt unit lab add-ons, IOL bin path where we can copy uh, the IOL files. Now we'll go to the above path with the cd command. And now I am on the exact path, which is opt unit lab add ons IOL B. So we'll say ls command to see the files on this path. I see that I have a file with the dot bean extension here, which is uh, the Cisco layer 2 switch. So, with a nano editor, I have to create a file called IOU Keygen, which has the .py extension, which is a Python file. I'll make this file and put the following text in it. And now here is our EVNG full pack images. Here you can click on download. And here you can click on shop now. This is the great EVNG, which is included more than 30 popular and great images that you can practice CCNA, CCNP, and CCIE. So here when you pay, you will access to the 17 gigabyte of EVE community VMDK file, and you can import it like the instruction here, and you can start practicing without wasting your time configuring your EVNG and pay hundreds of dollars for CCNA and CCMP and $1,000 for CCIE to access all the images that you want.
and here is the full video about two minutes you can learn how to import this vmdk file to your uh, vmware workstation or player or your esxi and start practicing your ccna and ccnp and ccie and up here you can see the list of images that included to this vmdk evng file here you can click on this image to see it in the full screen or of course you can download it from here. Here as you can see we have ASA with its uh, version CSR100 as you can see with its uh, username and password and the structure here. And next is 9K, which is a great appliance to practice a data center certification. And this is ACS, ISE, IPS, as you can see, and VWLC, as you can see here, UCS, and 3PAL, HP, Huawei, USG, and Firepower, Juniper, FortiGate, F5, and the rest of them. As you can see, even you have OpenE software defined storage, you can make the complex lab with these images and you will have the Windows appliance and Linux and ESXi and the rest of them as you can see. That means when you buy this product, you will have all the images inside this EVNG full pack image and you don't need to pay hundred or thousand dollars for these images and one of the frequently asked questions from me is it possible to download all the images from this EVNG full pack to your computer yes it's possible you should go to the exact directory on your EVNG and you will see all the images chemo files and IOSs in this EVNG full pack image and here you can simply click on add to basket and you can click on view and purge this software which is great for you and you don't need to waste your time as you know configuring EVNG is very hard and on the other hand you should pay hundred or thousand dollars to pay for the images but you only pay this price and you will have immediate access to this EVNG full pack image without any expiration as it is community version and you can upgrade it to the pro version with all the images that you have inside this full pack which is great pack you can now download and start practicing ccna ccmp and ccie and you don't need waste your time to learn eve ng how to import images how to configure them and you don't need to take a time again to configure eve ng we'll use the Control x key to save the file so here it asks me if you want to save the changes and to do this I'll type the capital Y. It will ask me the file name which is going to be loukgen.py. Now if I run the ls command again I have the py file. So this file should be executable file. So we'll use the chmod command. Now we'll convert this file to an executable file and by hitting the ls command again I'll see that the color of our executable file has changed. So we'll say dot slash io command and we'll hit the tab key to complete the command to see the command compilation. We'll run this command and we'll see the output. We need this part of the file, the part that will make the license for me. I'm going to copy this and put it in the notepad file. Now I created a file called IOURC and will make it with the EVNG documentation file and with nano editor. We'll copy the created license, paste it in nano editor and save it. Now we'll see that there is an IOURC file. Now I need to run the wrapper UNL command.
Well, that's all we had to do to run the IOL images in our Eve engine. So we can see the file with the cat command in the opt unit lab add-ons IOL bin, which is included in our license. So let's go back to our scenario to see if the device we've added, it can be run or not. And as you can see, the rotor runs perfectly. So this is how we can upload IOL and IOU file to EVE-NG software. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and like the video if you like this video.